Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we will talk about how you can ingest the data from Azure IoT Hub into event stream within Microsoft Fabric. This is now the main journey begins and from there how we can take the data further we will talk about all this in upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that and before to that if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So I am into my workspace here which is machine 01 the same thing which we are following up. As you can see we have this event stream data type here. As usual if you want to create any new item then we just need to click on new item from the top menu and then search for this. So event stream. As you can see we have this option event stream. So you just need to click on that and it's going to open up the same thing. So I'm just going to click on this one and give it a name which is event stream machine 01 underscore yt click on create as simple as that so that's the uh, beauty of fabric which you are seeing since the beginning we just need to create as an excel file word file creating of that so basically design a flow in to ingest the transform and root streaming events we can use external data sources got events from external sources you can use the sample data or you can also use your custom endpoints so right now in this case this is going to be a external data source because we are connecting this from azure so that's going to be azure it's external for fabric so clicking on the add source and we again have the same three settings and if you click on settings here it's just about uh, about of this event stream endorsement and retention period so we'll come to these things later on so first of all we just need to click on this use external data source if I click here then this will give me the list of available things here so there are certain recommendations here because this is coming from Microsoft and they are giving option to connect Azure event hubs Azure IoT hub or even the fabric lakehouse events or fabric workspace events so these are the two things which the bottom one is really an amazing thing right even though the data the event stream data activator can ingest the data in the real time and can send us any anomalies triggers on the real time so we can use these functionality even for the fabric item itself like if you are creating a fabric item if you are updating or if you are deleting something else then you can get triggers based on those transactions here so that can be helpful scenario here and if you want to do kind of pipeline activity that the data load has been completed and then it has to do another process so in that case you can use this event hub scenarios on the one leg scenario here as we created this IOT hub in Azure using this one so we just need to click on this connect so pull data from Azure IOT hub and stream it into fabric so I can click on this one connect so this is going to check for this uh, given this logo on the top which is Azure IOT hub to event stream and we just need to create new connections here so here you can click on the drop down there are certain connections available so if there are certain things which you need to create a new connection you can just click on this new connection here so this is the by default the dollar of default and json format that's an output of that but i can click on new connection here this is going to open up a new window here i can just define my name connection name shared access key and shared access key name so this is the thing which we copied earlier right so what we also used on this python script so these are the script which you need to pass. So similar thing we need to use this information here shared access key name and shared access key. So if I look into this old connections just close this one and here we have this Azure IoT Hub and let's go to Azure IoT Hub. In the meantime I will also open this VS Code application. Alright this is done and here in the Azure IoT Hub we have this option 2024-11-3001 this is the one which I already created here Azure IoT Hub here now you may think about where I can able to see these connections right okay so just opening up a new tab so opening up this Power BI again which is fabric 
and on the top right you have this gear icon you just need to click here and then you can see all the connection here manage connections and gateways so you click on this this will give you the list of available all the connections and gateways and here you can see this is the word we i was talking about so entity path i use your high you have these things you can just click on this one and click on so usually this is the same thing what we usually have in power bi there we can create multiple connections and we can share this with other people so that they can refresh this semantic model so same thing here you can just click on the settings here if you want to do any edits here as you can see this is the name which it is given taken up by default and this is a connection id iot hub entity path and we have this shared access key shared access key name and shared access key here so this is what we need to add and here if i just go to the right hand side it has taken up the name automatically during that time so where we can find this shared access key name and shared access key so i think it has to be here if i look into azure iot hub this is what it is showing up here and here we have the shared access policies on the left hand side let me zoom in here yeah so i am into my azure iot hub this is not in the device part this is the entire iot hub part and then here under this one we have this security settings and we have the shared access policies and here we can just use this iot hub owner and then we have this primary key and primary connection string access key here and here we need to use this the shared access key policy name iot hub owner and also the primary key here so you can just need to use these two things then you can just add here so iot hub owner here and then this access key so once you do though you can click on close you can test the connections out of it so once this is done close here i will select the existing connections and then click on next here without any changes here so this json is the format as we know from python script we are sending the json itself so we can select the json format and click on add so this is going to add this into this window so we are connecting through iot hub and now going it into this machine uh, this event stream so now i will let, let me run this one python script for now so that it can trigger send the information into azure iot hub and that information we can able to see here on this one we'll just give a little few seconds in order to look into this here all right i just click on the refresh here and you can see right now it is sending the information from this my python script into azure iot and from there it is showing up here in fabric so this is the real time things it is showing up for me so once this is done i just i just need to add few things which is i can add this transform events so we can add some filters if you want to just ingest only one machine of the data in this one you can also do that if you want to do some kind of selecting of the column there are some additional columns also added here if you want to add that you can also specify those and if you want to do any kind of some transformation like group by aggregations all these things the union and expand for adding up two three columns two three tables as well you can also do that so all these things you can do on the transform section this is going to be a little bit in the in between portion and finally you can add the destination the destination can be the custom endpoint or it can be lake house it can be event house it can be stream or it can be data activator so for now we are going to use uh, these three things lake house event house and data activator i think we'll just use only kql which is event house and data activator here that we'll cover in next part of this video series so i hope you got clarity about how you can get the data from your iot hub into fabric so if you like this video just hit the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video